Let's get started loading some rivet doors from TrueStyle. These are just like any other family. You're going to click on the Load Family button. You're going to browse to where the files are stored. You're going to select them. And then you're going to click on the Open button. If you load both doors, you're going to end up with this message. This is warning you that you've already loaded the panel. Just use the existing panel. Once these are loaded, you'll find that the new doors are in the project browser, like any other. We have a panel, we have a frame, and we have two doors. Now let's swap out the double that we have that's a stock Revit door with the true style door. You use the type selector just like any other family. Make your selection and then watch the change happen in the background. Let's do the same thing for the single doors. Pick one and the other. And then over to the type selector, just like before, choose the single this time. And you'll see the change happen as well. Let's look at some door properties. When you select a door and you look at the properties palette, you'll see that you can choose a panel type and a frame type. We've also got the option to change 2D and 3D swing. Check the option to see a solid swing space area. Materials are listed in the Materials and Finishes group. Dimensions are below that. It's easy to change your panel width and height. Once we move the cursor back into the drawing area, we'll see the changes happen. Interference visualization is easier with this 3D swing clearance object. We mentioned the 2D swing and the 3D swing. Now let's see it. Properties palette, you're going to change the two settings. In this case, we're changing both the 45. You'll see it happen in the background, in the 3D view, and in the plan view. Like other Revit content, you're going to see the doors behave differently according to the graphic display options that you use. And you can see ray trace here, for example. That's the end of this segment. Watch the next one.